Guys, whatever's in there, it's big and it's moving fast. Drive. Go, 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 go. It's been nearly 30 years since the original Twister ushered in a new wave of blockbuster disaster filmmaking, while at the same time encouraging a new generation of meteorologists and weather enthusiasts to get excited about wild weather and the art of chasing and interpreting it. After years of rumoured sequels, spin-offs and reboots, nothing ever came to fruition but now we get a semi-sequel that follows along closely to the original story, but with a fresh cast and a huge advancement in special effects. This time around, there has been an increase in tornado activity across Oklahoma, and while the movie doesn't say the words global warming, it is implied that that is the cause. The opening sequence showcases the devastation these unpredictable weather events are causing and propels Kate, played by Daisy Edgar Jones, and Harvey, played by Anthony Ramos, to find a way to make her high school science project of stopping a tornado a reality. Harvey is all decked out with the latest in tech equipment thanks to his startup and funding from some very generous donors. Along for the ride is Tornado Wrangler Tyler, played by Glenn Powell, and his merry band of YouTube vloggers who are chasing the weather for the likes. When a larger than expected amount of tornadoes struck the area, causing a gargantuan amount of devastation, Kate desperately tries to unlock the right formula to potentially stop a tornado in its tracks and provide more warning for potentially affected towns and their people. Taking over from the previous film's director, Jan de Bont, Minari's Lee Isaac Chung steps into the directing chair as his follow-up from that immigrant story, also set in Oklahoma. While the original film, Twister, painted a romanticized version of storm chasing, here Chung focuses on the after effects and the lives of the people who are left in the trail of devastation, with nothing but the option to just rebuild. It's a hard turn from the previous film, that focused more on the thrill of the tornado hunt, the spectacle involved, and the desire to understand how it forms. This new film is a bit more contemplative. It's a bit more scientific, but it also is more personal in a lot of ways. Chung is stepping up quite a bit from Minari to this $200 million blockbuster, and so is star Daisy Edgar Jones. She has taken her first steps into blockbuster territory here and does so with a confidence in this character that's able to keep her insecurities and trauma always bubbling away just below her friendly girl next door exterior. She does have a nose for storms, similar to Bill Paxton's character in the first film, although here it is more at the forefront, feeling like an almost supernatural power that she possesses. Ramos feels a little in and out providing support for Jones's character and providing the corporate style energy that this character needs, but maybe could have done with a little bit more character building. His interactions with his gruff business partner Scott, played by upcoming Superman David Corenswit, do give the film a lot of the laughs. All of this is topped off by another dynamic performance from Glenn Powell, whose natural energy is now on another level. He further accentuates the charisma from his previous films, Anyone But You, Hitman, and Top Gun Maverick, by somehow being more charming, while able to stay grounded in the heavy action scenes when hero work is required of him. It has been nearly 30 years since the first film, and technology has come a long way for visual effects. The original film's efforts with visual effects were groundbreaking, and that has clearly laid the path for this new film to deliver slick, spectacular, and seamless action sequences involving heavy CGI. There is a much needed reality here as well, with the devastation of the astonishing landscapes of Oklahoma rendered with epic detail, but also emotional tension, even when we're being chased by a fire nado. The original film featured only a few tornadoes, so naturally with this sequel the scale is increased, but it never feels overwhelming and becomes consistently entertaining. Twisters is the blockbuster of 2024 that we've been waiting for. It delivers a solid spectacle that manages to fit into that legacy sequel fashion, similar to Top Gun Maverick, in which all the right ingredients are thrown together to deliver a movie that stands out on its own and will no doubt keep the franchise moving forward if the studio wishes that so. Glenn Powell is cementing his case as the next big movie star of our time. There's a scene here in which he puts on a white t-shirt tied across his body in the pouring rain 
for no narrative reason whatsoever, and I wouldn't have it any other way. His chemistry with Ed Daisy Edgar Jones, the star of this film, is magnetic, and the supporting cast here are strong enough to keep up with their pace. There are plenty of nods and winks to the original film, and some similar tornado interactions, but Chung shifts the focus onto the devastation that these storms leave behind, and with the people who are left with nothing after it. And for that, this film works brilliantly. Twisters is a fun ride you'll want to take over and over again.